ಪಂಚನಮೋಕಾರೋ ಸೌವ ಪಾವಪಣಾಸಣೋ ಮಂಗಲಾಣಂಚ ಸೌವೆ ಸಿಂಗ್ ಪಡಮ as the new era begins we are going to celebrate a lovely occasion it's our ritual it's our sanskar that whenever we are going to start a new venture or we are celebrating something there should be deep prakatyam light lamp lighting so for that i would like to invite shrimati aruna ben shrimati rajnika ben meena ji maulik bhai shah shri hiren bhai shri rasel bhai shri arvin bhai and shri yogen bhai and of course shri ajay bhai atma jyoti pradiptaya sukha jyoti namostute sukho jyoti pradiptaya swasthya jyoti namostute let us wish that sarve bhavantu sukhinah sarve santuh niramaya sarve bhadrani pashyantu ma kashit dukha bhag bhavet ये जो दीप की ज्योति है वो आप सभी के आत्मा को स्वस्थता शांति सुख समृद्धि प्रदान करे दीर्घायु प्रदान करे यही उपलक्ष यही हेतु round of applause and let's start with positive vibrations right one more time thank you so much thank you thank you so much let me start with one quote of hippocrates the father of modern medicine this is a quote of hippocrates it says wherever the art of medicine is loved there is also a love of humanity shrimati sushila benar mehta and sir kika bhai premchand cardiac institute popularly known as kika bhai hospital and super specialist hospital for cardiac and orthopedic is celebrating its silver jubilee with shining 25 glorious years of saving lives this hospital is centrally located at king circle near gandhi market sign east as we know that it has ultra modern equipments 
well-experienced team of cardiologists, cardiac surgeons, orthopedic surgeons, and consultants of all the specialties available 24 hours. It is a state-of-the-art diagnostic center situated at Kala Choki, Lalbag, Mumbai. The center offers various diagnostic facilities like CT scan, gastroenterology, pathology, radiology, dental, physiotherapy, and ophthalmology, all at affordable rates with the latest equipment. The hospital has also received various recognitions such as fifth edition full accreditation by NUB, National Accreditation Board of Hospitals, Center of Excellence Certification by Philips India Limited for its cardiac catheterization lab and also training candidates from all over India in complicated procedures. It is one of the best CSSD setup in India by CAHO. The hospital has successfully treated a remarkable number of 9,60,000 IPD patients, also performed 14,400 cardiac surgeries, including complicated surgeries, yes, and 15,000 orthopedic surgeries, 16,000 angioplasties, and 50,000 angiographies. To help the needy, this hospital and institute offer angiography, angioplasty, and bypass surgery at a much subsidized rate on a regular basis. Doctors from Germany and Japan have held leading workshops in this hospital's cath lab, offering free training sessions to perform complex procedure. 25 years. How this journey began? How the thought came into Manu Bhai's mind and Sushila Bain came on board. How this journey began, how it is going on, and what is the future? Let us go to that timeline through one beautiful documentary. most important aspect it denotes existence but in the quest of making ourselves exist we tend to ignore that not only is my life important but also our others zindagi hai to sab kuch hai life is the greatest blessing one can have and one can help in giving others so why not give happiness why not help in making lives of the people better with whatever we can do within our capabilities. With the same thought, Sri Manubhai Shah, a well-known industrialist and philanthropist, aimed to deliver the best to the mankind. Srimati Sushila Ben Mehta was a close friend of Manubhai Shah. He expressed his need to her for the donation towards this hospital. Srimati Sushila Ben readily agreed to donate funds to the hospital and the family decided to name the hospital SR Mehta and KP Cardiac Institute. Due to the need of the hour, this plan for an ophthalmic hospital was converted to a cardiac institute. Cardiac care being beyond the reach of common man, Srimati S.R. Mehta and Sir K.P. Cardiac Institute was conceptualized to reach out to the downtrodden of the society irrespective of caste and creed. Dr. Dayavai or Mavir Heart Foundation assisting to set up this hospital as their trust was giving a lot of donations. My father Manubhai was ably supported by Sri Nagin Bhai Doshi, Sri Pran Bhai Goda, Sri Shadu Bhai Ajmera for collection of donations for this hospital. Sri Manubhai was able to create a team of able doctors, surgeons, paramedical staff and administered and finance personnel. With the help of this team, we have been able to reach the milestone of Silver Jubilee, which we are celebrating today. Healthcare being close to his heart, he wished to do something remarkable and hence Srimati Sushila Ben Ramnik Lal Mehta and Sir Kikabhai Premchand Cardiac Institute was inaugurated with the support of Sri Arun Mehta. He heard about Sri Manubhai Shah's philanthropic work to help the poorest of the poor with the best facilities. Sri Arun Mehta immediately approached Sri Manubhai and struck a deal by offering the highest donation. Today we are gathered to mark the 25th anniversary of Srimati Sushila Ben R. Mehta and Sir Kikabai Premchand Cardiac Institute. A journey marked by compassion, generosity and unwavering commitment. This journey began with the shared devotion of my grandmother Sushila Ma 
and Shri Manubhai Shah of Ruby Mills towards service at the Kandavadi Sthanakwasi Jain Upashram at Girga. Together, they extended their philanthropy to the Jain clinic, aiding the less fortunate. When the vision for a cardiac hospital at Siam took root, our family, led by Sushila Ma's legacy, contributed generously to it. My father, Arun Bhai, and Manu Bhai played pivotal roles in nurturing this beacon of hope. I extend my heartfelt gratitude to our dedicated doctors, trustees, and staff for shaping our legacy. It is your steadfast devotion that has earned us the reputation we hold so dear. Let us renew our commitment to serving humanity with compassion and excellence as we continue to script stories of healing and hope. Thank you all for joining us today. The Institute started its journey as a cardiac center in 1999 with a capable team of doctors, nurses and paramedics which then spread its wings with orthopedic speciality in 2006. And now we are an established super specialized cardiac and orthopedic hospital in Mumbai. Our aim is to provide world class services and bring in the best cardiac care within the reach of the common man. Somewhere in the May of 1999 to be precise, third week of 99, after the inauguration was done on 29th March, we started our OPD. And in month of October 17th, our cath lab was installed and we st started our first case of angiography. Two months later, we started our cardiac surgery. And in the January of 2000, we started our blood bank. But this was not very easy. We had to make people know our existence. People were not aware there is an institute called Cardiac Institute SR Mehta because this was the first single specialty instrument. From there, we have grown to today's stature and we are today celebrating 25 years of our existence. Our mission is to deliver cardiac services with high quality, safety and economy. We strive to bring these services to people who cannot afford such services but are in the need of the same. The hospital is centrally located and has 72 beds, ultra-modern equipment, super trained and experienced teams of cardiologists, cardiac surgeons and intensivists along with consultants of all the specialties available 24 hours. Our hospital is uh, one of the best hospitals located uh, in Cyan, which has an approach of holistic approach to serve the patient. Yeah, this hospital is a 72 bedded hospital, which is a five story fa facility. And uh, we have got around 18 beds of critical care and cardiac surgeries and 10 bed of HDU and post-operative care. Hospital has, uh, has modernized operation theater complex with the two OT suits, 24 by seven emergency services in-house blood bank, pharmacy and high-tech lab, high-tech pathology lab. So we are committed to continue strive, strive for excellence, to push the boundaries of excellence and to make a meaningful difference in the life of those we care. Our dream institution wouldn't have been successful without the support of our dedicated family members, that is, the team. They have graciously put their heart and soul to bring the institute to this level where we proudly celebrate 25 successful years of helping lives. Palicha sir has been with the institution from its inception. Right from the inception, he has been silently working. I was fortunate to have worked with him for nearly two decades. I enjoyed every bit of it. Every day I used to wait for his arrival. He used to burn his own petrol, come to the hospital and help me in day-to-day -day functioning. He is not only an excellent administrator, but also a wonderful human being. No one can imagine the sacrifices he did for this hospital without taking one rupee. Really a genuine charity, genuine ownership he did. He was of great help to us in buying of expensive equipments. He used to bargain so much that the prices used to be less than half. Lots of lakhs and lakhs of rupees he must have saved for this institution. 
he breathed his last on 11th of march i wish he was there to attend our 25th anniversary but fate cannot be changed but though he may be not there any more his ideas and ideals will remain forever shrimati asha y mehta excellent administrative personality is associated as a joint honorary secretary of our hospital from the inception till today and we sincerely thank her for her unwavering support in the hospital administration furthermore shri manubhai shah's foresight in identifying the need for well trained nurses led to the collaboration with shrimati nathibai damodar thakarsi women's university sndt to establish a teaching college for nursing this initiative funded by shrimati sr mehta and sir kp cardiac institute for over 6 years has been pivotal in ensuring a skilled workforce for the hospital shri rajiv shah helps in managing the day to day activities of the hospital shri rajiv d shah fondly called us rajiv bhai among relatives friends and hospital members has always take tremendous responsibilities and initiatives in hospital administration and management his humility and initiatives are unparalleled he always tells if you have any opinions or suggestions that is reasonable and genuine then i will give the decision within 30 seconds he never say sorry to any of the patient related safety related or quality related issues his door is always open for patients relatives and also for the hospital employees to discuss about their problems and get the solutions his driving force led us to reach many milestones including nabh full accreditation many more to say about him to summarize we are fortunate enough to work under his leadership it is because of the efforts of shri manu bhai shah along with all others that Shrimati SR Mehta and Sir KP Cardiac Institute is now one of the leading cardiac institutes in Mumbai finding its reward in improving the quality of life through affordable healthcare Shri Manubhai Shah was planning to start a medical and diagnostic center with all facilities including CT and MRI which would be attached as a division of Shrimati SR Mehta and Sir KP Cardiac Institute Unfortunately due to his health conditions the project could not materialize after shri hiren shah took over the leadership and became the chairman of shrimati sr mehta and sir kp cardiac institute he pursued his father's dream and turned it into a reality with all the support and best wishes our genuine care institute has managed to achieve various milestones enabling accessible healthcare to all especially the ones who are in need Hiren means Lord of Diamonds, and the person with the name Hiren has lots of positive aspect in their life. When Hiren Bai took over the uh, chairmanship of this hospital, he is following the same principles of Sri Manu Bai and the trust. Hiren Bai takes active part in the hospital. He is always ready for the modernization of the hospital. He is always there for the negotiation of the new machines, new technology. and the prize negotiations he always thinks about doing more and more charity i am glad that i am associated with this hospital since last 25 years with the grace of the almighty we have come this far creating a transformative impact on the cardiac and orthopedic health scenario of mumbai by treating over 960000 patients with 14400 various cardiac surgeries 15000 various orthopedic surgeries 16000 angioplasties and 50000 angiographies to help the needy shrimati sushila ben r mehta and sir kika bhai premchand cardiac institute offers bypass surgery at a much subsidized rate of rupees 35000 angioplasty at rupees 25000 and angiography at rupees 7000 on a regular basis our hospital has been successful in providing healthcare to the needy under a number of schemes this is a dream of our founder chairman manubhai shah put into reality by his able son hiren bhai shah manubhai shah diagnostic center offers various diagnostic facilities right from ct scan 
ओ पी जी ऑल सॉर्ट्स ऑफ एक्स रेज ई सी जी स्ट्रेस टेस्ट टू डी एको कार्डियोग्राफी सोनोग्राफी डेंटल चेकअप एंड ट्रीटमेंट ऑप्थेलमोलॉजी गैस्ट्रो एंट्रोलॉजी इंक्लूडिंग कोलोनोस्कोपी एंड गैस्ट्रोस्कोपी इट हैज़ अ पॉलीक्लिनिक वेयर ऑल स्पेशलिटीज एंड सुपर स्पेशलिटीज कंसल्टेंट्स आर गिविंग एडवाइस ऑल एट अ रीजनेबल रेट सो इट इज रियली अ ट्रूली चैरिटेबल इंस्टीट्यूट voluntary contributions of jay and anuj the present trustees of the institute namely shri hiren m shah mr arvind bhai dr shroff shri l j tanna mr yogen bhai and mr pura bhai have made significant contributions across various aspects of the sr mehta hospital in terms of fund generation their proactive approach and strategic networking have led to successful fundraising initiatives securing essential resources to enhance the hospital's infrastructure services and research endeavors their guidance in the implementation of advanced technologies has propelled the hospital to the forefront of medical innovation ensuring the patients receive cutting edge treatments and diagnostics additionally their efforts in branding and marketing have elevated the hospital's visibility attracting patients both locally and internationally overall their collective leadership and commitment have played a pivotal role in advancing the mission and impact of the SR Mehta Hospital benefiting countless individuals and communities our heartfelt tribute to Dr Prasanna Nyayadish panel cardiologist Dr Sanjay Desai cardiac surgeon Dr Shripal Doshi cardiac surgeon and Shri V M Palecha Honorary Secretary We are going strong and striving to expand our horizons to reach new heights for the betterment of mankind A small act of kindness can change someone's life for the better Let's come together and pledge to spread hope and happiness A kind gesture can make a big difference SRM KPCI bringing hope to life a small act of kindness is a great help to human being so this is just a 25th year celebration we want more and more many more years to come and celebrate more and more with great heights and achievements and here is the time to call upon our dignitaries on this dais and for that i would like to invite on the dais dr ashok shroff shri yogen lathia श्री अरविंद भाई श्री अजय भाई सेठ अवर गेस्ट ऑफ ऑनर डॉक्टर सुधांशु भट्टाचार्य अवर अनदर गेस्ट ऑफ ऑनर रिस्पेक्टेड श्री घनश्याम भाई ढोलकिया श्री रसेल मेहता और चेयरमैन श्री हिरेन मनु भाई शाह श्रीमती अरुणाबेन शाह श्रीमती रजनीकाबेन and shri puro h shah our guest of honor padma shri padma bhushan dr ashwin mehta just arrived he conveyed his good wishes and since he had some emergency he left us but his uh, good wishes are always with us welcome sirs and ma'ams swagatam swagatam welcome sirs and ma'ams And now, since our dignitaries are here, I would like to invite Dr. Lata Chaudhary, Medical Director of Shri Mati S R Mehta and Sir K P Cardiac Institute, to welcome them all. Dr. Lata Chaudhary, Medical Director, Shri Mati S R Mehta and Sir K P Cardiac Institute. Distinguished dignitaries on the dais, Padma Shri, Padma Bhushan. cardiologist dr ashwin mehta who is not there but he has sent his good wishes to us guest of honor dynamic cardiothoracic surgeon dr sudamshu bhattacharya he is known for his excellent work and i must also thank meena bhattacharya who is come with him and grace the occasion 
guest of honor, philanthropist, Shri Ghanasham Dholakia, trustee and chairman, Shri Hiren Bhai Shaha, trustees, Dr. Ashok Shroff, Arvin Desai, Yogin Lathya, Lachibai Tanna, Puro Bhai Shaha, Madam Aruna Ben, Russell Bhai, Ajay Bhai, distinguished invitees in the auditorium, beloved consultants and staff of Srimati S.R. Mehta and Sir K.P. Cardiac Institute. Warm regards to you all. Friends, I'm extremely happy to welcome you all to this historic occasion, celebration, Silver Jubilee celebration of S.R. Mehta, Sir K.P. Cardiac Institute. It's a really a wonderful day for all of us. It's a pleasure and it is like a festive occasion for us. We are all here together because of this 25th anniversary and we are very happy to see so many people whom I have never seen in my life. This is the opportunity that we got because of the inauguration. I would like to say that it is not only a special day but it is a special year for us and our colleagues are very happy and excited. The energy is seen all over and energy and enthusiasm is infectious. Celebrating the 25th anniversary of a hospital is a momentous occasion. It is not only necessary to celebrate but also we have to re retro thinking, analyze, reflect and analyze the whole structure of 25 years with data and it's really a very wonderful thing to know that we have touched many hearts on our way and also we have been excellently adding medical gadgets and medical equipments and new technology to our armamentarium. We are all very happy and translating happiness into words is really difficult for us. It is like dream that has come true. My mind goes back to the past, that is our founder chairman, Sri M.C. Shah. He has been a really a guiding force for us for throughout our life. He was a visionary. He was, I'm sure all of you, was very dynamic and also he was a class by himself and interested in helping us for modernization and also he was very keen for helping the needy and the poor. His standard sentence, and every time when we meet in the meetings, he used to tell us, you must know that this hospital belongs to masses and not classes. So be very kind to them. And he used to say that whatever we have, luxury, for the senior people and for the elderly and for the rich people should be always given to this common man. And that's how he saw that the poorest of the poor person was helped because of his thinking, his vision. He has been very helpful to all of us and also he was very fond of the entire group. And anything new in the, anywhere on the newspaper, he will send a cutting and ask us, Do, can we go ahead with this for cardiac or for orthopedic procedures? That was his question always. We learned a lot of things from him and he was a guiding force for all of us. From 99 onwards, this hospital has made a lot of evolution and progress. Out of that, initially we were only cardiac hospital, but now we are cardiac and th cardiac thoracic as well as orthopedic specialty. Both have got excellent equipments which are used by our surgeons and we do all complex surgeries, both cardiac as well as orthopedic and also cardiology. So all the three branches, it is at the top grade. Now about our present chairman, he is also a dynamic personality, class by himself, very fond of quality control. You will not believe if I say that he not only comes to the meetings, but every month he goes through the analysis of mortality and morbidity. And if there is any query 
it will be seen in my WhatsApp immediately. And the answer also I have to give it. And if again another query comes, again I have to answer back. That is the way he is. Commitment is excellent for us. I must thank on this day, auspicious day, all the management people who have been excellent, cooperative, and always unwavering help to all of us. I think I have never seen any management so positive and so helpful to us. And I would like to thank our staff also for being so good to our patients and they make them comfortable so that patients will go back with a smile. And that is the idea of our chairman and the present chairman also. We are very thankful to all of them and the hard work is the really the key to everything for this success. So I would like to conclude by quoting Sir Abdul Kalam that if you want to shine like the sun, you have to first burn like the sun. It's very important to do that and for us, hard work is the passport to success. Thank you. Well said, ma'am, with a lovely quote. And now I would like to invite on this dais Dr. Jagdish Parikh, who is a senior cardiologist of Srimati S. R. Mehta and Sir KP Cardiac Institute, associated with Sri Manubhai Shah from 1999 and played a major role in planning of the entire cardiac setup. Dr. Jagdish Parikh. Very good evening. Today's honorable guest, Sri Bhattacharya sir, honorable members of our board of trustee, my chairman, Dr. Hiren Bhai and his family member, my colleagues from the institute, ladies and gentlemen. I have been associated with this project from not 99, 95 when the concept of this hospital came to chairman and he had summoned me to help him to arrange and need, know need of the cardiac institute because there was not a single dedicated cardiac institute in, in this city. So he called me at that point of time. And we arranged everything and it was in the month of March, I distinctly remember we had arranged a function like this in Sanmukhanand Hall. The distinguished member of the society were present, saints were present, and they all blessed us to start this new journey. And we are not charitable, we are affordable cardiac care. Those days, angioplasty and bypass were in fashion and majority of patients found it very difficult to organize money and it was considered as a very risky business. This is about 20 years ago, which probably many of you might not have experienced. So we started Pure Cardiac Institute in 1999. And the cath lab started in the October of 99, 17th October. And Sir Manubhai Shah, whom I used to call Kaka, had traveled all over the globe and collected huge money for donation so that he could buy equipment at low cost and we both sat down and made packages which were affordable compared to private corporate hospital. And then we started our journey. And initially, in the first year of 2000-2001, we were having admission about 100 per month we were doing about 45 angiographies per month, 8 angioplasties per month, 12 bypass surgeries per month. There was no orthopedic surgery at that point of time. And we were struggling to fill the hospital. All kind of propaganda we were doing, putting cuttings in newspaper, and I would visit and make lecture all over Saurashtra, Gujarat. But his vision was great. He never was disappointed. We used to visit hospitals, corporate houses, government officers, trying to pursue that, please send your patient to us. 
and some of them would ask for kickbacks. So I will come back and tell Kaka, we have to give money. He said, Jagdish, have I ever asked you bring this much money to this hospital? Is it my responsibility to run this hospital or it is your responsibility? I said, Kaka, it is your responsibility. I am a servant. She said, then why are you worried? Why you want to take shortcuts in life? We will never take shortcuts. And his words proved true today. Today we are doing 300 plus procedures in Kathleen at the end of 20 years. So gradually we <laughs> moved forward. He was very clear in his idea, Jagdish, my hospital is meant for middle class people. He should not stretch his arm to take help. If he has insurance of two lakhs, it should be enough for him to get his angioplasty and bypass. So that was our package. And gradually we became popular in the society because we were perceived as honest, transparent billing, no underhand dealing, and nobody would charge anything outside the rules. One of our top cardiac surgeons in 2003 was charging outside and this matter came to his notice. He called me, tell him that tomorrow morning he and his team should not be seen in my hospital. I said, Kaka, it is not possible, we'll collapse. Once again he told me, not your responsibility to run hospital. It is my responsibility. You do your work, I will do my work. Whatever you need, I will give you. So he gave me best equipment, best instrument, but he never tolerated substandard work or cheating with the patient. And that quality is still maintained in my institute. And that is why we are blessed by the society. We came out of society and we are running because of the love of society. We lost him about six years ago and Hiranbhai took over. That was a difficult time because COVID had just started. Revenues were down and we had to change our cath lab and we had taken up new project of the diagnostic center and we had to renovate our cath lab. Hiren was saw to it that without removing a penny from the hospital account, we got the enough money and the best equipment. And as you heard, Philips declared my hospital as the best equipped cath lab in the west zone of India about two months ago. There are only four hospitals in India, one in each zone, which is considered as the center of excellence. We are their best excellent zone, hospital in West Zone of India, and they bring doctors and technicians for training to my institute. We, in these years, also became teaching institute for DNB cardiology, and we have trained six students who are practicing all over Maharashtra, and they are also following the same principles of honesty and dignity. We never compromise patient's dignity. We also have made multiple presentation in international conference. In name of charity, we don't give substandard work. We are the only one of the few hospitals in this city which have embarked on structural heart disease intervention. That means we chain the valve from groin without general anesthesia, without cutting the patient's chest and we are now reaching almost 50 cases in the last 30 months. And we are doing at one third cost compared to private corporate hospitals. <laughs> so we are not charitable, but we are affordable. And we give best available treatment. We do rotational etherectomy, we do intravascular ultrasound, we do OCT, we do retrotripsy, we do, you name the procedure in cardiology and it is done. My surgeons do beating heart, lima, rima, vai, minimal invasive surgery, all valvular surgery. Everything is available in my center and affordable price. That is the beauty of this place and Hiranbhai has maintained that. And I'm very, as you have already learned that in this journey we did lose some of our very, very dear colleagues our guiding force, our chairman. But fortunately with Hiren Bhai, we are still walking and running. And we made our new center, Manubai Center, which is fully equipped for OPD work. And we have our CT scan there. 
So all our structural heart city are done there. At a personal level, I am also, I want to express my deep sense of gratitude to the family for allowing me to participate in this endeavor. It is very difficult to predict future, what will we be in next 10 years. But as I see, we will be doing one and a half times the work because the disease of coronary artery is rampantly spreading to younger people due to stress, smoking, and diabetes. And one another important reason is people are afraid of corporate hospital. They want trust hospital where they can go with peace and they, are pr they have predictable budget. So I feel that we should have more space, one more cath lab to expand. About 25 years ago, I stood like this and asked for blessings from the audience for the people who had come. Once again, on behalf of my institute, I ask your blessings to continue our journey with the same vigor and same commitment. Thank you. Salute to your vigor and excitement, sir. Thank you so much. And now, I would like to invite on this dais Dr. Nilayan Shah, a senior orthopedic surgeon, Srimati S.R. Mehta, and Sir K.P. Cardiac Institute. Dr. Nilayan Shah. Honorary trustees and well-wishers of Srimati S.R. Mehta and Sir K.P. Cardiac Institute. It is really a great day that 25 years ago this institute was founded. I was not there at that time, so I have also seen the video that some of you may have seen for the first time. So just a thought occurred in my mind that if the founding members, Manubhai, Sushila Ben, Arun Bhai, if they were watching us from above, what they may say? They may say, ke hum akele hi chale the, zane be manzil ki or, log saath aate gaye, or karwa banta gaya. This is the share by Majru Sultanpuri, and we are a part of that karwa. Now, why have we joined this karva? I feel the reason is that the people who had the vision to found this hospital have founded it on really sound principles which we all believe are worth following. So a few things have been said and I have been associated with the hospital maybe since the last 18 to 20 years. So what are the principles? The first principle is charitable. As uh, Jagdish Bhai said, that charitable and affordable may be a little bit interchangeable, but we are not the most pricey hospital in the city by no stretch of imagination. The second thing I would say is excellence. The quality is not compromised because the charges are less. How is the quality not compromised? I would say that we have the best of surgeons, and I will raise my collar as well, plus the best of cardiologists, the best of cardiothoracic surgeons who are operating here. Plus, I would thank the trustees of the hospital for providing the best of equipments. I visit various hospitals in the city, and I would say that the instrumentation system and the equipment that our hospital provides is second to none and far, far superior to a lot of corporate hospitals which are there in the city. See, if the instruments are not there or not proper, it is not possible for us to do the work. The third quality I would say is accountability and transparency. There are no hidden costs. 
when a patient comes to us, the patient knows what he is going to be charged. And at the end of the day, there is no last minute change into his charge. And in case something like that happens, if the patient overstays or something, we reduce the charges so that the patient and the relatives do not have to bear the brunt. So that also, I think, is an excellent quality. The fourth thing I would say is consistency. This is not a 2020 match, not a one-day event. This has been going on since the last 25 years and probably will go on, hopefully, for eternity. The challenge, I think, that the modern, uh, or not the modern, the current trustees would face is that the hospital has built an unbelievable name. As I say, I visit multiple hospitals and even the affording and the upper class patients want to come to our hospital because of the care that they receive here. One other point I would like to make is that the hospital is extremely friendly. Sometimes you don't feel only that you are visiting a hospital, but the rules are followed. And one of the rules is that no outside food will be allowed. Even when the trustees get admitted to the hospital, they have to eat the hospital food. And that can only happen when the trustees, when they are not admitted to the hospital, also eat the hospital food. So I remember an incident when uh, Manu Bhai was sitting in his office in the conference room and he, he called the caterer and he asked for an idli. So the caterer was a little bit shaken up. He uh, served the idli and Manu Bhai ate it and then, then gave comments as to what needs to be done to make it more palatable to the others. So I think with the, these qualities that the hospital has, we have, we have succeeded in 25 years and we are probably going to succeed for many, many more years. But I would say that we need more facilities, we need a bigger building, we need more theatres so that we can do more work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. And now, we are so happy that Dr. Sudhanshu Bhattacharya, as a guest of honor, is with us. Dr. Bhattacharya, as we know that he is uh, attained MCH in cardiothoracic surgery and a renowned cardiac surgeon and world pioneer, Dr. Dudley Johnson. Apart from being an accomplished cardiac surgeon, Dr. Bhattacharya had invented, designed and patented a few surgical instruments, the most important. It's my privilege, sir, because I'm so happy to see all these achievements of yours. The legend himself, Dr. Bhattacharya. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure to come over here. I really do not know why am I told as guest of honor. But anyway, now that I have come, I will talk. This is a tribute my personal tribute to Manu Bhai. I would not have otherwise come over here, but it's my personal tribute to this great gentleman. I, after a couple of months of their cardiac surgery, cardiac cardiology starting, I had also been associated with this institution. And uh, I was also coming over here uh, whenever I found time. I was not busy in those days as I am today, but uh, I had plenty of time. So I used to say, Chalo chura ja ke charity karke aata hu. So I used to come over here and do some few cases. But uh, 
as time passed by, I became much busier on South Bombay side, so, and the traffic also increased, so this was not possible to come over here. But uh, these people have been extremely kind to me that they have still uh, kept me as uh, one of the honorees in this hospital. So that is uh, very kind of them. They have not uh, removed my name. So maybe one day when my practice falls down, I can come over here again and start teaching people. Uh, Manubhai had been a very successful cotton uh, business in the cotton business and he used to tell me Bhattacharya when all other factories are closing and all other institutions are closing his is still running at a profit and he would uh, discuss with me ki, how is white linen can be kept white and what kind of soap should be used and what kind of clothing should be used. Not only that, sometimes Asha Ben would give me a white piece of uh, white uh, cotton from her factory and uh, give her and give it to me in the Diwalis. So it was very nice and I had a very uh, homely atmosphere with these people and I enjoyed the whole thing. Maybe that's the reason why they have called me over this institution. I wish this institution a great success. Uh, if the hard work is done, there is nothing like that. The success has got to come. In the, my earlier days, uh, when we were only three people, uh, myself, Manke and Manda, we had introduced this cardiac surgery into this city. And today I can see that there's so many cases are being done and so many people have taken up. In between, I also heard that people don't want to take up this branch because this branch takes too many years to mature. But then, this branch can keep on running at my age. Today, at 78, I still do surgery. So I think this branch is a very nice branch. You don't have to do a struggle. You have to just only do fine work. And uh, it's very rewarding branch. If I were to take up a branch again in my life, I would still again choose cardiac surgery. Anyway, I wish a great uh, success to this, and I wish this institution, many, many more successful years to come. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Your words means a lot to us. And now, over to our another guest of honor, philanthropist. He deals with gemology, but gem himself respected Ghanshyam Bhai Dholakya. Bhot anand or proud ki baat hai. Mai to Gujarati or Hindi mein bolunga kyunki दस से ज़्यादा पढ़ा लिखा नहीं हूँ लेकिन ये लाइन में तो सब डिग्री वाले हैं लेकिन हम हार्ट वाले हैं तो गुजराती में बोलूँगा ये परिवार को बहुत धन्यवाद देता हूँ दोनों परिवार जो 25 साल पहले ये सोचा आज उसका थर्ड जनरेशन कल पूर्व भाई को भी मिले ईरेन भाई को तो जानते थे रसल भाई तो वैसे तो लोग बोलते हैं कि डॉक्टर से दूर रहना चाहिए तो नीलेन भाई हमारे डॉक्टर हैं हम साथ में रहते थे लेकिन मेरे को उसने दूर भेज दिया तो अभी हमारे से दूर हो गए सभी का आर्द्रिक स्वागत करता हूं शाह परिवार को तो बहुत कम समय से मैं जानता हूं लेकिन मेहता परिवार को 30 साल से जानता हूं तो जैसे वो अरुण भाई रसल भाई वो परिवार होंगे उसकी तरह से मनु भाई का संपर्क आए होंगे और तभी उसका रिलेशन दोस्ती बना होगा और ये विचार आए होंगे शायद जो हिरेन भाई ने और राजीव भाई ने जो सोचा होगा उससे गैस मेरे को लगता है कि ज़्यादा आए क्योंकि हाउसफुल हो गए मैंने हॉस्पिटल तो मैंने कल विजिट किया तो वहाँ पे तो मैंने हाउसफुल देखा था लेकिन इधर भी 25 साल का जो जर्नी में सभी लोग आए तो उससे ये लगता है कि बहुत सारे की दुआ मिली होंगी तभी इतने लोग सारे सभी आए हुए हैं वैसे तो भगवान को प्रार्थना करते कि डॉक्टर के पास नहीं जाना हुए लेकिन जाना हुए तो अच्छा हो जाए जैसे हमारे कोलिन भाई भी इधर बैठे हुए सबको नजर जो देते हैं ना उसकी जैसे बात है कि डॉक्टर से पास कम जाना मिले हम तो धंधे वाले हैं हम चार भाई हैं लेकिन फादर ने एक ही चीज बोला था उसके बारे में बता दूँ कि ऑनेस्टी और हार्डवर्क तो हार्डवर्क करते आ रहे हैं मेरे बड़े भाई सौजी भाई ज़्यादा सोशली में जाते लेकिन हिरेन भाई और नीलेन भाई का कहने का था कि आप कोई तो परिवार में से आइए तो मेरा आना हुआ मैं कल ही पहली बार हॉस्पिटल देखा करीबन दो साल पहले रसल भाई 
मेरे को भी स्टैंड बिठाना पड़ा तभी हॉस्पिटल जाना पड़ा था और मैंने जो कल देखा जो हिरेन भाई और पूर्व थे और उसके धर्मपत्नी भी साथ में थे तभी लगा हम धंधा में तो सोचते हैं कि जब भी पूरा परिवार लग जाता है ना तभी वो धंधा सक्सेसफुल होता है और दिल से जब भी करते तभी पूरा परिवार लगते है तो कल मैंने परिवार को देखा जब भी पूर्व को देखा तो बोला आप भी है तो बोला मैं भी इधर आता हूँ और हिरेन भाई रसल भाई ने करीबन दस साल पहले मेरे को बोला था कि वो बहुत बुक पढ़ते हैं और हमारे इंडस्ट्री के में वो नेचुरल डायमंड परिवार है अरुण भाई से लेके रसल भाई से लेके पूरा परिवार के थर्ड जनरेशन में चौदह टका लोग टिकते हैं एटी फोर परसेंट थर्ड जनरेशन में रहते नहीं है बिजनेस में ये आप बहुत लक्की है मैं तो रसल भाई का बेटे को भी जानता हूँ और पूर्व को कि थर्ड जनरेशन धंधे में भी है और ये विचार है वो भगवान की बहुत कृपा होंगी अच्छे संस्कार दिए होंगे अच्छे लक्ष्मी घर में आए होंगे तभी ये विचार आते नहीं तो क्लब में जाने वाले थिएटर में बाकी सब जगह पे जाने वाले हॉस्पिटल में आवे सेवा करने के लिए तो बहुत बहुत मैं धन्यवाद देता हूँ डॉक्टर को धन्यवाद देता हूँ कि आप अच्छी सेवा करते हो तभी लोगों को आने की इच्छा होती होंगी तो बहुत हॉस्पिटल तो मैंने नहीं देखा लेकिन कल देखा उससे लगता कि जो काम करते थे उसके चेहरे में भी स्माइल थी मतलब उसको भी दुआ मिलती होगी तभी उसके चेहरे में स्माइल थी डॉक्टर को नर्स को उसको भी देखा पूरा राजीव भाई ने सब कुछ दिखाया तो उससे ये भी लगा कि बाकी हॉस्पिटल में तो होता है उसके हिसाब से ये हॉस्पिटल में जैसे डॉक्टर सर ने बोला ना कि भाई अच्छी सर्विस क्वालिटी वाले देते और बेस्ट प्राइज में देते तो आपने जो बोला उसके हिसाब से ये हॉल में सभी मुंबई में तो वैसे लाखों करोड़पति होते हैं तो जो भी आपका एक्सपांड करने का प्लान है हम सभी साथ में है और साथ में करेंगे कि लेसे तो प्रार्थना नहीं करना चाहिए कि और आगे बढ़ो ज्यादा लोगों को पैशन ज्यादा पैशन मिले ज्यादा को सर्विस मिले लेकिन जिसको जरूरत है उसको कैसे हम पहुंच पावे उसमें कैसे हेल्प बन पाए क्योंकि जब भी अच्छी लक्ष्मी होती है तभी अच्छे विचार आते और वो अच्छे जगह में यूज करे तो वो लक्ष्मी कमाया वो सार्थक है नहीं तो अच्छे जगह पे यूज नहीं करे वो लक्ष्मी सार्थक नहीं है वो हमारे पिताजी मेरे भी बोलते थे और हम भी वही विचारधारा में मानते तो आपका जो भी प्लान होगा हम सभी सपोर्ट करेंगे खुद भी करेंगे और लोगों को भी बोलेंगे कि वो हिसाब से आप लोग काम कर रहे जो दोनों डॉक्टर सर ने बताया उसके हिसाब से और जो परिवार जो उसमें संकड़ा हुआ है वो भी बहुत उच्च परिवार है बहुत उच्चे विचारों है वो विचारों जब भी काम करते हैं वो जो लक्ष्मी में साथ जुड़ जाते हैं तो उसमें साथ में बैठे वाला की वैल्यू भी बढ़ जाती है और उससे आगे जरूरत पड़ेगा तो उससे भी बड़ा हमारे समझी है अंबानी परिवार समझो उसको भी कभी चीफ गेस्ट में लाएंगे तो आप उसके बारे में चिंता नहीं करिए क्योंकि तो जो परिवार से है उसका विचार उच्च है उसके लोग भी उसके संपर्क में वो है तो चिंता की बात नहीं है आप आगे बढ़िए आपके जो विचार है हम सभी लोग साथ में है और बहुत बढ़िया कर रहे हो ऑनेस्टी के साथ जो काम करते हो सक्सेसफुल होता है और उसमें लोगों की दुआ भी मिलती है और आप सभी लोग ने मेरे को बुलाया मेरा जो विचार था वो मैंने बताया और हॉस्पिटल में भी आगे जरूर कुछ होगा तो हम जरूर उसमें आएंगे बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद दोनों परिवार को घनश्याम भाई तब जय गुजरात हिंदी बात करी तो आपने प्रोटोकॉल तोड़ी गुजराती में पोखू मनोज भाई खंडेरिया एक सरस शेर थी कि रसम ऐ जुदी रिवाज ऐना नोखा रसम ऐनी जुदी रिवाज ऐना नोखा अमारे मन तमारा शब्दों कंकु अनेक चोखा एंड नाउ हाउ केन वी फॉरगेट दो कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटेड इन दिस इंस्टीट्यूट सो लेट एस गीव अवर लव एंड ग्रेटिट्यूड एंड ट्रीब्यूट टू दोज हु आर राइट नाउ नॉट विथ अस बट एनी वेज दे आर इन अवर हार्ट्स सो टू डू दी ऑनर्स आई वुड लाइक टू इन्वाइट श्रीमती अरुणाबेन शाह and first of all as we so and mention in this documentary of our honorary secretary late respected shri vijay paleja he left us for heavenly journey on 11th of march 2024 so we remember him right now and to give our ever gratitudes we would like to invite his daughter gunjan arun thoprani late shri vijay paleja ji who was honorary secretary shrimati aruna ben shah will give the respect and snehanjali 
to his daughter Gunjan Arun Thoprani. And now, a cardiac surgeon, renowned cardiac surgeon who left for heavenly journey in the year of 2015, late Dr. Sanjay Desai, we would like to offer our tribute and snehanjali, and for that we would like to call upon Dias, Dr. Krishna Desai to accept the award. Dr. Krishna Desai. Welcome, ma'am. Late Dr. Sanjay Desai, a cardiac surgeon, who is right now not with us, but his good deeds and recovered patients are always with us in the form of blessings. As Dr. Nilensa says, ये सब यदि ऊपर से स्वर्ग से हमें देख रहे हैं तो बड़ा प्राउड फील कर रहे होंगे तो जब भी यहाँ पे हम स्नेहांजलि देते हैं तो उन सब के सत्कार्यों को हम जोरदार तालियों से बधाई याद देंगे थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच श्रीमती अरुणा बेन थैंक यू सो मच एंड नाउ अवर नेक्स्ट ट्रिब्यूट्स विल बी गिवन बाई श्रीमती रजनीका बेन अरुण भाई मेहता Rasel ji, I would like to request you to do the honors. Mr. Rasel Mehta will do the honors and I would like to invite Mrs. Renu Shripal Doshi. Dr. Shripal Doshi, a cardiac surgeon who left us in the year of 2022. We are offering our gratitude, respect and snehanjali. To Mrs. Renu Shripal Doshi. Thank you so much. A professor in cardiology, Dr. Prasanna Nayadish, who left us in the year of 2013. And we are going to give our respect and tribute. And for that, we would like to call upon Dias Srimati Lavlin Nayadish to accept the award. Srimati lovely Nayadish. Late Dr. Prasanna Nayadish, Professor in Cardiology. Anybody on the behalf of? Yes, Dr. Jagdish Parikh is accepting this award. Thank you, Dr. Jagdish Ji, and thank you, Rasel Ji. And now, let's felicitate the members of, for their outstanding dedication and distinguished achievements. And to do the honors, I would like to invite our guest of honor, Dr. Bhattacharya, and our first achiever, none other than Dr. Lata Choudhury, Medical Director, SR Mehta Hospital. Yes, ma'am, Dr. Lata Choudhury. Welcome, ma'am. Let's have a non stop clapping. This is the award for years and years of efforts, selfless efforts. So, one more trouble. You have to be there with us. <laughs> Dr. Jagdish Parikh, senior most cardiologist, SR Mehta Hospital. One cardiothoracic surgeon to another cardiologist. What a lovely sight. Thank you so much, sir. Few more, sir, few more. <laughs> Dr. M. Vishwanathan, senior cardiologist, SR Mehta Hospital.
Yes, it's a great moment. <laughs> Dr. Anil Damle, senior cardiologist. Sir, are you there or inside the OT today doing your duty? Anyone on behalf of sir? Because somebody has to run the hospital, I suppose, right? If everybody's here, then who is there? Dr. Nilayan Shah, senior orthopedic surgeon. Congratulations, Dr. Nilayan. Dr. Asutosh Chaudhary, orthopedic surgeon who played major role in setting of the orthopedic operation theater. Dr. Asutosh Chaudhary. Congratulations, Dr. Asutosh. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. And have a Ghanshyam bhai, aap ahi padhaare aacho to have a apno varo saune awards apano. Our guest of honor, Ghanshyam bhai Dholakya will do the honors. And we have with us the senior cardiologist SR Mehta, Dr. Dinya Daruwala. Is he there? Okay, fine. So, uh, Dr. Reema Shah will accept the award on behalf of Dr. Daruwala. Dr. Dinyar Darwala, senior cardiologist. And on behalf of him, the award has been accepted by Dr. Reema Shah. And the honors has been done by our guest of honor, Sri Ghanshyam Bhai Dholakya. Congratulations, Dr. Darwala, from all of us. Dr. Vinod K. Shah, senior cardiologist, SR Mehta Hospital. Dr. Vinod K. Shah. Congratulations, Dr. Vinay. Congratulations. And now, Director, Agilis Diagnostic Center, Dr. Fadke Labs, Dr. Ajay Fadke. Dr. Ajay Fadke. Are you there, sir? Can somebody collect the award? Okay, fine. Okay, okay. Let's have a big round of applause, ma'am. Just convey this applause to Dr. Farke. Srimati Asha Yogesh Bhai Mehta, Joint Honorary Secretary of Srimati SR Mehta and Sri Sir K.P. Karyak Institute. Congratulations, ma'am. Srimati Asha Yogesh Mehta. And we have another achiever, Joint Honorary Secretary of Srimati SR Mehta and Sir KP Cardiac Institute, Sri Rajiv D. Shah. Congratulations, Rajiv, sir. And a kukhu babar, ganshya mai. And now, we would like to hear from you, Sri Rasel Mehta, Managing Director, Rosie Blue, grandson of Srimati Sushila Ben R. Mehta. And my generation knows you by Shloka Ben Mehta's father. Gujarati ma kaye, तो जारे संतानों बाप थी सवाया थे ने और खान काढ़े तेरे दरेक बाप नू गवरों बनता होए जे रसेल मेहता सर ओवर टू यू आई थिंक सर माइक इज़ देर यू कैन डू दिस हाय ओके थैंक यू रिस्पेक्टेड डॉक्टर्स ट्रस्टीज एंड फ्रेंड्स आई ऑनेस्टली डोंट हैव मच टू से बिकॉज़ यू ऑलरेडी सीन माय वीडियो � you know, after coming here, uh, I feel on behalf of my family that we are very glad that my grandmom and my grandfather and the entire family decided to commit to this hospital because that's the inspiration we are taking back from here. And 
probably recommit or we will recommit more on this path uh, moving forward. It's very satisf uh, satisfying. Uh, we are quite grateful for what they have done 25 years ago. And uh, I am extremely grateful to the Shah family to have built this uh, beautiful institute, which is celebrating its 25th uh, anniversary. Um, lots of uh, congratulations. Uh, uh, it has been a very, very hard work and a long journey. Uh, I know that it was not easy in the beginning, uh, but look where we have reached. Uh, this is the inspiration we take back from here, and thank you very much, and many more successful years. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. And now let's hear from Sri Ajay Sheth, our advisor and donor. Sri Ajay Sheth. Respected guest of honors, respected trustees of, I will call Matusri Susila Ben R. Mehta and Sir Kikabai Hospital, ladies and gentlemen. Some six years back, I got associated with this hospital, thanks to Manubai. And I distinctly remember those were the last few days of Sri Manubai. I am going to narrate one of the incidents, OK? And you can decide whether this is an affordable hospital or a charitable hospital. I leave that decision to you. I started sitting in the boardroom of Sir Kikabai Hospital with Rajiv Bhai. And it was like first few weeks when I saw one very poor patient okay, coming to the hospital with his daughter. And my idea of cardiac hospital and knee surgery was that I'll find only the old patients over there. That was the mental idea. And when I saw this poor gentleman coming with his daughter, which was aged around 12, 13, 14 years, I was little taken back. And then in a usual Hindi language, and I'm going to use some of the wordings in Hindi because I remember those words very distinctly. He said, sir, ye meri beti hai, bara tera saal ki. Uska heart wall mein problem hai. Main both hi hospital mein ja ke aaya hoon. Aur sab private hospital wale bolte hai ki iski cost 10 lakh se 15 lakh tak jayegi. Ek private hospital ke ek achche cardiologist saab thai, unho ne bola ke tumhari beti ke liye achchi treatment chahiye aur affordable treatment chahiye. So now I am talking about Jagdish Bhai, what he said about affordability. To aap kika bhai chale jayiye. So I have Usually, Rajiv Bhai had taken his form in his hand. And I knew that there were two or three questions. What do you do? He said that I am a driver. How much is your salary? He said something like 18,000, 17,000. And instantly, Rajiv Bhai told me that you take an appointment, take 2 lakh rupees, दो लाख रुपये में ट्रीटमेंट हो जाएगी क्योंकि ये हार्ट वाल का सवाल है आई कुड सी अ स्पार्क इन दैट मैं आईज एट दैट मोमेंट बिकॉज यू नो इट्स लाइक एनी डॉटर इज अ स्पार्क फॉर अ फादर पंद्रह दिन तक वो पेशेंट नहीं आया देन आई आस राजीव राजीव वॉट इज हैपन टू दैट पेशेंट एंड बी कोल्ड इम अप and he said, I have saved 20,000 rupees. Give me another six to eight months, and I'll come back. And without much thinking, Rajiv Bhai said, come down to the hospital tomorrow with your daughter. We'll take the appointment, because Rajiv was not sure whether that daughter will last for another six months, or eight months, or 12 months. Believe my words, this was my first encounter the gentleman deposited 10,000 rupees. Rajiv Bhai 
reduced Kikabai's charges, you know, from two lakhs to something like 50,000 rupees. I'm sure he could not have covered even the wall charges. Okay. And the balance money was contributed by two, three donor families. And, and frankly, I'm saying one of them was me. You know, what was my donation? 12,000 rupees. So you imagine, I learned something like three, four lessons on that day. After eight days when I saw that gentleman and his daughter going away, I learned the language of tears. You know, thanks to Kikabai Hospital, because, you know, it's very easy to donate money. It's very easy to donate money, you know. The gentleman, after seven days, was leaving the hospital. He was an uneducated person, you know. Somebody, one of the most successful person over here said that I am not as educated as, as whether people. I am not sure whether educated people are really educated. Okay. You have to, you have to sir, define the definition of, uh, and I know Sauji Bhai personally. So, you know, you have to define what is education. Anyway, that gentleman did not even say thank you. But his eyes was wet. And that's the first time, you know, I learned the language. He was trying to say thank you. He was trying to say I am grateful to you. He was really taken that, you know, my daughter is saved. And he left and that's the first lesson I learned. I think the second thing I learned that, you know, most of us who are sitting over here in this August gathering, we go to Taj and Oberoi with our friends and we fight to pay the bills. You know, I do all the time with my friends and they do it. But I could realize what 12,000 rupees can do a miracle. Believe my words, 12,000 rupees can really do the miracle. You know, I went back home. I am a student of yoga and meditation. I started reflecting on everything. And then I realized, when Hiren Bhai had mentioned to me that, you know, when Sir Kikabai trust family members, they came to Manubai saying that, you know, this land and this partly made building we would like to donate, start hospital. Manubai with his vision never gave up. Okay. He said, okay, I'll contribute my money. He went to, you know, Arun Bhai. I don't know who were the people. But I want to ask Russell Bhai, you know, whatever money your family contributed that day, do you think that you have had, your family had any kind of other investment which would have given so much of the returns? Russell Bhai, and this return is not only for last 25 years, it's going to be for generations to come. So understand what kind of a returns, you know, Manu Bhai, you know, Arun Bhai, your family, okay, with a lot of doctors and trust, trustees and other committed people, you know, what kind of a return we have created. I'm, I'm a man of an investment market, so I understand this is one of the best return. And last but not the least, you know, I learned on that day, frankly, somebody comes to the hospital, you know, with a beacon of hope. And I'm sure that, you know, Manubai knew this word, Asa, because Manubai's daughter's name was also, is also Asa, you know. Asa nu kiran ne ave, somebody comes with a beacon of hope. And then probably, you know, if someone like Rajiv, somebody like Ren Bhai, someone doctor, you know, whether it's a Jagdish Bhai or anybody, you know, can do the beacon of light. And enthuse a beacon of life. Then probably what is left out, to my mind, for Hiren Bhai to do it now, in next 25 years, is nothing but a beckon of excellence. I think before I conclude, I would like to quote Manu Bhai for some beautiful quote. Okay, and I'll have to read it out because, you know, I want to give his exact language. And I quote, live your life like a lighthouse. Live your life like a lighthouse and be a beckon of hope to others. Thank you very much.
वेरी वेरी वेल सेट और जब इन सब को सुनते हैं रसल जी ने कहा घनश्याम भाई ने कहा खासकर अजय जी ने जो बात कही है तो ये बात कहने को मन कर रहा है कि जितने भी डॉक्टर्स यहाँ पे इनके साथ एसोसिएटेड हैं या नॉन मेडिकल स्टाफ भी क्योंकि टेक्नीशियंस को भी हम नहीं भूल सकते नर्सेस को भी कैसे भूल सकते हैं तो स्वीपर से लेके जो कोई भी हॉस्पिटल के साथ एसोसिएटेड हैं और आप सब डिग्नेटरीज मुझे लगता है सब एक ही मिशन लेके काम कर रहे हैं कि किसी से बेहतर करूं क्या फ़र्क पड़ता है किसी का बेहतर करूं बहुत फ़र्क पड़ता है एंड नाउ फाइनली अवर चेयरमैन ऑफ श्रीमती एस आर मेहता एंड सर के पी कार्डिया इंस्टीट्यूट श्री हिरेन मनु भाई शाह ओवर टू यू सर esteem dignitaries ladies and gentlemen as we commence our silver jubilee it is imperative to acknowledge the foundation elements of our institution's triumph while we bask in the accolades and shower upon institution and its stalwarts we must recognize the robust framework we have established ripe for further development of greater good of society the torch bearer of tomorrow our succeeding generations of doctors and administrators are gradually assuming the mantle of the responsibilities and we pledge unwavering support as they advance towards our institution's objective at the outset i would like to pay homage to my late father shri manubhai shah whose visionary leadership unwavering dedication laid the cornerstone of this noble mission i extend heartfelt gratitude to shrimati sushila ben ramaniklal mehta and her family for their generous donations to this noble cause i also express sincere appreciation to shri arun bhai who served as a guiding beacon to my father during his tenure as a trustee further i would like to acknowledge philanthropic endeavors of kekabai premchand family whose legacy of altruism spanning generations has significantly impacted our society through initiatives such as establishing orphanage funding schools erecting landmarks such as iconic rajabai tower and others my profound gratitude extends to kpd family for their trust in and trusting this institution to my father's care shri bansi bai mehta a prominent chartered accountant who played a pivotal role in facilitating the handover of this trust to the hospital i extend my deepest appreciation for dedicated team of healthcare professionals including doctors paramedical staff nurses and support personnel the tireless efforts coupled with commitment to excellence and compassion serve as a bedrock of this success i also extend gratitude to deepak Dilip and the team at Oscar Medical for managing in-house pharmacy, as well as Manish and Nikhil for overseeing the hospital's catering needs. Heartful thanks are due to our trustees and general generous donors, whose steadfast support ensures that even most vulnerable member of society, irrespective of their caste and creed, receive the care they deserve. furthering our mission to serve the community i wish to recognize invaluable contributions of rajiv and shri balaja whose honorary services have been instrumental in our journey towards excellence furthermore i express appreciation for unrivaling dedication of dr jagdish bhai dr daruwala dr nilen bhai dr ashutosh choudhury and all other doctors and surgeons who tirelessly efforts in advancing our institution's mission have left an unendable undeliable mark on the community i also extend gratitude to dr lata choudhury present medical director dr jc sharma former ceo matron preena gala and chief accountant mr mata and his valuable contribution of his team lastly we as we celebrate our achievement let us pause to honor the memory of departed colleagues such as dr sanjay bhai dr shripal bhai dr prasanna 
whose contribution to this institution shall forever, forever be cherished. Together, let us honor their legacies and strive towards future where healthcare is recognized as a fundamental right and not a privilege. I would like to invite Dr. Bhimani, who was initially associated with my father during setting up of this hospital, to say a few words. Respected members on the dais, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. The previous speakers have already given the history started from 1999. But I would like to say that it was the hard work more than three years before 99, I had the privilege to work with Manubai through the courtesy of late Mr. Navneet Bhai Doshi. And the idea was generated. There are many general hospitals, small catering to the people in all the faculties. But if you want to create an institution, and if you want to create something, you should have a center of excellence. Now that was the idea was there. I was associate for about one or two years with them. At that time, my office was in the Ruby Mill. And I think at that time, Jagdish Bhai was sitting in one corner of the old building. During those two years, whatever the Manuva has instilled about this to the institution, or whatever in his mind, he has taken care of these things, and we are seeing the fruits of the labor of the last few years. I don't want to say much time now, but for that I am very much thankful to Manuva to have the idea of center of excellence. And I have got one word now to our guest, Mr. Dolakia. If you were to create an institution to that, you create an institution, a center of excellence. Not the general hospital is when hundreds of people come to that. And that is where the first institution of excellence was created was Sir Sir Beta. And that was by the Manubhai Shah. I don't want to say much things, but I think I will look forward to meet Mr. Doraki in the future. I'm sure they are coming from the place, from where also I come from that. And I think we should have many more. Today, the center of excellence was first created by Tatas. What is that? that cancer hospital, which is more than 50 years today. And still that excellency is there and day by day going more and more. Now I'm sure Mr. Dolakia and Rasulbhai will take this particular point to create a center of excellence in that area from where they are coming from this institution. Thank you very much for giving me chance to say a few words because I am associated with 1995, and thank you very much. Thank you so much. And now, our token of appreciation should be given to our dignitaries, and for to do the honors, I would like to invite uh, Sri Hiren Bhai Shah and uh, Sri Rasil Mehta to give our appreciation, our love to our guest of honor, Dr. Bhattacharya. Zordar Taliya Honi Chaye. Yehamara Sobhagya hai. Kyaj Dr. Bhattacharya Yaha Padhare. Or Ashir Vachandiye. Thank you so much, sir. 
And now our another guest of honor, Sri Ghanshyam Bhai Dholakya. And a token of appreciation we would like to give. And to do the honors, I would like to invite Dr. Ashok Shroff. Dr. Ashok Shroff is doing the honors. Our guest of honor, Sri Ghanshyam Bhai Dholakya. Thank you so much, Ghanshyam Bhai. You are here. You are here. You are here. You are here. And you are here. इंस्पिरेशनल आपना जैसे शब्दों छे ये हमें जरूर याद रखी शु अने आप सो निकृपा थाई तो आगर पन अपने वधता रही शु थैंक यू सो मच एंड नाउ वुड लाइक टू इनवाइट श्री अरविंद भाई देसाई टू ऑनर एंड गिव अवे टोकन ऑफ एप्रिसिएशन टू श्रीमती अरुणा बेन शाह रिस्पेक्टेड श्री अरविंद भाई देसाई it's our love and our gratitude towards you, ma'am. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Arvindji, as well as Aruna, ma'am. And now, Srimati Rajni Kaben Shah, you are also with us. And to do the honors, we would like to invite Sri Yogen Bhai Latia. Rajni Kaben Nathi. Yes, Mrs. Russell Mehta. Please come forward, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much. And as the time goes by, we are to, towards the ending of the ceremony and towards the new beginning, of another 50th year, as sir said, that we are going to see many more years to come. So before we end and before we proceed to dinner, a word of thanks by Sri Rajiv D. Shah, Joint Honorary Secretary of Srimati S.R. Mehta and Sir K.P. Karyak Institute. Sri Rajiv Shah. <coughs> Respected guests uh, and invitees, Today, as we gather here to celebrate the 25th year of Srimati S.R. Mehta and Sir K.P. Kadiak Institute, there is immense joy and gratitude in our hearts to remember its journey from fledging hospital to becoming an efficiently run hospital that has carved a special niche for itself in cardiac and orthopedic surgeries in a city which has no dearth of multi-speciality hospitals. Thank you is such a prayer that cannot be seen or touched but it, f it is felt by heart. I feel honored, privileged, and blessed to get the opportunity to propose a vote of thanks on this momentous occasion. I would like to thank uh, to each and everyone who is part of this memorable journey and had made time from their busy schedule and graced us with their presence. A big thank you to the Board of Trustees, donors, and the team, and the invited speakers. Words are not enough to thank their constant guidance, encouragement, and support to shape this journey and has added years to the lives of many individuals. Today's evening went from good to great, thanks to the cheers, pre cheery presence of each and every one of you. Thank you all for your attendance and hope to see you all together again for many more landmarks in this journey of providing top tier healthcare facility and making it affordable to the average middle-class Indian. I pray with heartfelt wishes that the second phase of this journey, Sri Manubhai Shah Medical and Research Center also meets with such success that sets an example for such a critical social infrastructure with best quality services at affordable prices. Thank you once again. And please join us for dinner. <laughs> One more announcement I have to make. Ganshyam Bhai has just uh, given us you know, 11 lakh rupees check for the charity, for the help of poor and needy patients. Thank you. So once again, congratulations, Shrimati S.R. Mehta and Shikika Bhai Premchan Institute. And once again, congratulations all of you. Ab tak jo tha, wo food for soul tha. Ab hum jayenge food for gastric juice.